Hey y'all, so we back, season three, episode four of Count the Call Podcast. Hopefully this is been helpful for y'all. For those that are new to our channel, make sure you like, subscribe, connect, send this and share this with other people because this content is built to not only motivate you, but motivate your money. Yeah, but we like to give out some um, shout outs to some sponsors. I want to start off with uh, Big Boy Sean, Big Boy Sean, and Dave Vision, which is my business. Um, we, we shoot videos. 1428 Financial Wellness, uh, Young Lady Finance, a nonprofit in Grand Rapids, uh, killing it for our youth, teaching them about financial management. And then Dondre Brown and Associates, uh, which is a business that is new and coming in Grand Rapids, helping other businesses show improve impact in the city. Also, if you would like for your business to be highlighted or sponsored, you know, this podcast, you know, hit us up in the DM. Yeah, let us know because again, this this platform is not just for us; it's for our community. It's for the world. It's for the globe. But speaking of that, and we want to uh, launch off our last episode talking about taxes, but also talk to you about how you can leverage your taxes. Because remember, last time I said the taxes isn't just starting in January; it's year round. But let's kick into this intro. Is this what you want? So yeah, we back at the Calendar Call Podcast. The last uh, episode, we talked about taxes. Now we want to talk about ways for you to, you know, leverage your tax refunds if you get them. And if you don't, you really may have to hire a CPA to figure out how you can leverage the tax system. Because I personally believe that everyone can participate in the tax system and everyone can win from it. You just have to know how. Yeah, man. But first and foremost, man, we be forgetting, you know. Because the first episode and the, and the second episode, we mentioned our names. We stopped mentioning our names. <laughs> so, I stopped mentioning because y'all keep coming in. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. We're out. So, my name is Real Will here. And I'm Don Gray Brown. So, yeah, man. We're talking about, um, what's, what's the second one? <laughs> Just how to leverage it. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Leveraging our tax refund. Mm-hmm. My advice um, you don't know how to do it, but this is what I did last year, and I'm gonna do it again this year because I ended up slipping back in debt. My first priority is to cancel the debt. You know, not no car loans unless I got that much money, but no student loans. I'm talking about those stupid debt, credit cards, that's real, phone bills, that's real, letters and bills, mm-hmm. all your best friends, <laughs> all your cousins, all your brothers. <laughs> Pay them off first, and you can feel comfortable. Even people to get to go in. But first, I don't really feel comfortable because the mic deck my pot, man. Man, <laughs> we're not. But do we? Do we? Do it's we? been it's been at that marker. It's been at that marker. Yeah, I've been watching it. So did it record. No, it's recording. But so what do we do now? Hang on. Do we got to use that part? I think we got on that part. Okay, we right. won't trust it. Forget it. Yeah, so we back and we had a little uh, audio problem because, again, sometimes I'll be forgetting stuff. But hopefully this serves as motivation to, to know, like, man, this stuff is real raw and transparent. So if you are thinking about starting a podcast, listen, the, the worst critic is yourself. Our viewers out there may be laughing at us. They may be enjoying themselves. We ain't never going to know, nor do we care because this content just ain't for us. It's for the people that really need it. So, yeah, going back to what Will was saying, he was talking about, like, making sure you address stupid debt, right? One of the important things about leveraging the tax system. That's a song. What? Stupid debt. Oh, we was dead. <laughs> so we're going to so we are working on some motivational content that we can't wait to share with you in one of our future episodes but that that's where his brain is at right now might he, play a song for y'all one time you know not so, this episode so no seriously speaking of what i was going to say is one way that you can leverage the tax system in your money is by practicing ppp Ooh. right not the loan though some of y'all are like oh we about to get some more loans uh-uh that ain't coming back what i mean by ppp is plan Prioritize pay. There we go. Let's do it one more time. Plan, prioritize pay. Yeah, we yeah, we got we got the kids in the background helping us out. But yeah, one of the things that can really be helpful and that was helpful for me was this book right here. Right, I don't know if you can see it. For those of y'all who just listen to the audio, it's Rich Man Poor Bank. That's one of the biggest things that I had to learn when I first got my tax refund. The first thing I let it do was sit in the bank. 
because it felt good to see those numbers in the bank. Mm -hmm. It felt real good, like, dang, it, it feel like I got money, right? But this book by Mark Quinn, he also wrote the book called um, Top 10 Ways to Avoid Paying Taxes. He basically said, money in the bank is not truly doing what it needs to do for you. So you gotta put your money to work. Oh, yeah. So you, so, so you telling me, or you telling us, it's deeper than putting your money in the same account. Like we see from Facebook and Instagram. Oh, I'm gonna say my money to be all over the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because think about this, right? If you look at the interest rate of a savings account, and again, nothing against banks because our businesses and nonprofits partner with banks, and that is a space and a financial uh, instrument for people that may not know other things you can do with your money or may not know other bank resources that they can utilize. But just having it sitting in your checking account because you like the zeros attached to it, it's not an investment, right? I was just talking to my nephew and he was like, yeah, this episode will be focused on investment. It's investing in yourself and your money, right? It's not just investing in the stock market. It goes deeper than that. So for example, you get this money, we'll make a, a great, or he'll probably talk more about this. Not only did he pay off debt, he bought equipment. Yeah, yeah, that's power. That's huge, right? He bought equipment. He didn't go on vacation first, right? Cause that wasn't a part of his, his plan. His plan was to invest in equipment. Cause then what can he do with the tax system? He can claim that equipment. You know, so again, hopefully y'all make hopefully y'all put these two together. But the first thing you need to do is think about your plan. Like, what are some of the goals you want to accomplish? I tell people there are four things you can do with your money: spend, save, share, and invest. Right? Those are only four things you can do. So you have to think about some of the things you want to do. Most importantly, I think Will said it best: paying off some of this debt. It's very rare that you'll get a lump sum of money to throw at something, mm -hmm. right? Because, you know, if you throw something at a lump sum of debt, it falls down like a, what is it, a, a debt snowball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we yeah. claim it, they rev there, like a debt snowball, right? You can really knock down some debt, like pay off a car. <laughs> like, that's huge. A lot of people that I was receiving these stimmies and stuff, hopefully they were paying off their cars. That's true. Not getting cars is two thousand dollars that break down the next world. That's true too. So again, where we came from, we got refunds or people around us got refunds. The first thing we were ready to do or they were ready to do was buy cars. I pay here. That de depreciate in value quickly, right? But didn't use those cars for their business, so they didn't claim them. You didn't claim the fuel or none of that. So at the same time, you gotta think about one. What am I doing for my business? Mm -hmm. I think everybody in this day and age should have some type of side hustle. Mm -hmm. Something. Because all of us have gifts. We'll talk about gifts real quick. Because that's mm -hmm. We got, everybody got something inside of us, right? Even the lowest person on this earth, you know, feel like they don't have anything. I'm talking about the homeless person that feel like they lost everything. There's still something inside that person. Because if you go down there and probably talk to some homeless people, it's a homeless person down there motivating the other homeless people. Like, we're going to have to make it out of here one day. We go, whatever, whatever talk. So there's a gift that God placed in all of us, mm -hmm. you know? But it's up to us to figure out how to bring that gift out. And the only way you're going to be able to bring that gift out is when someone actually sees the gift sometimes. You know? Yeah, no, you're right. So they cultivate it. And because we all have these gifts, like, we have to place value on that gift, right? Because there's resources, there's time that you spent to ensure that that gift is given or you've served whoever, whether it's a community, whether it's a person, et cetera. So the tax system is created and can be created and utilized for you to be able to benefit from your gift. And that's how you have to see it. And you, and, and YMF, his nonprofit, is a perfect example of investing in other people's gifts. Everybody on our team perfect. has a business. But YMF actually provided a platform for every single business, no matter what business it was. That's true. It was created, you know, to, to, to serve YMF and the kids some way. Yeah, because again, one of the things that we try to do is make financial like awareness and motivation like a lifestyle. Yeah. Right? I always tell people, if you can't talk to my kids about money management and they'll be able to have somewhat of a conversation with you, then it's something I'm not doing right. The same thing goes with our team. If, if you can't talk to our team about how we're constantly having conversations about home ownership or paying off debt, then I'm not doing my job as a leader. I'm not doing my job as a person. I'm not doing my job in this community to really build us up. But the last thing about ways that you can leverage your taxes, because again, we want to keep these short, is like when, when you plan and you prioritize it and pay, 
you have to really focus on that investment part the next time, right? Paying it forward. I'm a firm believer of giving, mm -hmm. right? So put a little money away to give or invest in something or someone. A lot of people ask themselves, like, why don't I feel like I'm getting um, some type of opportunity or I'm not getting what I believe I deserve? What are you giving? Ooh, that's deep. Are you giving someone an opportunity or giving them what they deserve? So again, it's <laughs> that lie in his chest. Oh, he bet. I saw that and he felt it because again, I look at that from a personal lens because when we get our taxes, sometimes we be like, I got to keep it to myself. Because Stingy. before you got the taxes, you was like, man, I'm investing this person. I'm going to help this person out. And then you get that money and things start tripping on you. So you have to start to shift that focus and say, what well, is something I can invest in? Because